Guys, it's time to get off the sidelines. You are living on the sidelines of your own life. Pornography has made you a voyeur. It's made you a consumer. It's made you somebody that looks at one of the most intimate acts that human beings do through a third-party perspective. And it doesn't just stop there with you. Your time spent on social media, living your life through other people's fantasies. Your life spent in video games. Your life spent on Sunday on the couch watching grown men play a child's game with their names on your back, investing more time and energy into what a sports team is doing versus what you're doing with your own life. I'm sick and tired of seeing so many men not live up to their potential. I'm sick and tired of seeing so many young men spend their lives watching other people chase their dreams. Guys, there's a call inside of your heart. There's gifts that you possess. There's something that you're here to do. And pornography is sitting at the core and at the roots of why you feel helpless, of why you feel isolated, of why you feel like you're lacking purpose and meaning in the things that you're doing. I'm gonna get real with you here for a minute. Many of you since the ages of 10, 11, 12 years old, sat behind a screen and trained and conditioned and wired yourself that sex was meant to be done through a voyeuristic lens. And I got sent a video by a young man. Apparently there's a big social media influencer goes by the name of Adam 2022. I didn't know a lot about this guy. I've done a little bit of research and looking into him, but apparently him and his wife are created a reality show where he throws a contest out there and he welcomes other men to play a game to see who's going to be able to sleep with his wife. And then he sits there and watches the activity. Adam 2022 is a cuck. And I can guarantee without ever meeting this gentleman that he has spent a vast majority of his life watching pornography. Because I can't think of any other reason why a grown man would want to watch his wife, his beloved, the one that he said, I want to spend my life with you. What would make a grown man want to watch another man penetrate that woman? And I spent enough time researching the impact that pornography has on a young man's brain to know direct correlation between what we consume and what we want to see in the world. Now for you, maybe it hasn't gotten to the point where you want to watch other men sleep with your wife. But if you don't get control of it soon, that may be where you end up. And when we think about the rise of depression, the rise of mental health issues, the rise of just emasculated young men that feel like they're missing meaning and purpose in this world. So much of this is rooted in us not living our calling and us not living the life that we were put here to live. We wake up, the first thing we do is we pull up social media. We're scrolling through other people's feeds. What good things have happened in other people's lives today. We then take a break from that. Maybe we get a little slice of pornography to kickstart the day. So we sit there and watch other people have sex to pleasure ourselves. Maybe somewhere later on in the afternoon, things haven't been going well. Hey, you know what? I need to take a break. Let me pull some video games out. We lose ourselves in this virtual world of challenge, of competitiveness. Once again, not embarking on any real meaning, any real journey in the world. And then by the time it's seven, eight o'clock, the game is on tonight. So we're going to throw our favorite jersey on. We're going to cheer for our favorite quarterback. Guys, we spend more time focused on what other people are doing than what we should be doing with our lives. You know, so one of the best things I do for myself when I'm feeling down is I go out and do something. Even if it's going for a walk, it will make you feel better. 
But what's going to really make you feel good is when you tap into your uniqueness. What are the gifts, skills, traits that God has placed inside of you to create meaning and purpose in the world and to support and serve other people? Guys, at the time of this episode releasing, it is the end of 2023. And I want more than anything for you to make 2024 the year that you break through, the year that you stop living on the sidelines, the year that you step into the calling for your life. But in order to get there, you have to begin to take action. In order to get there, you have to get free from this addiction. In order to get there, you must get control of you, your life, and your compulsions. And guys, if you want a recipe to help you do this, we put together a five-step training to help you get clear on the man that you can live without pornography. And it starts with creating a five-year vision. But after we have the five-year, we bring it down to a one-year roadmap on what our life can look like without pornography. So as you're embarking and getting ready to set your goals and New Year's resolutions for 2024, visit www.rebuiltrecovery.com forward slash vision. And I'm gonna give this training to you guys absolutely free. This is one of the most important assignments in our entire curriculum. Because I've made it my mission here to help 10 million men get free of pornography. I wanna give this to you absolutely free, guys. But if you're struggling, with happiness, if you're struggling with purpose, if you're struggling with meaning, you gotta get off the sidelines of your life. I advise shutting off the TV on Sundays. Step away from the sports. Stop cheering for other grown men that are chasing their dreams and begin to chase your dreams. I recommend shutting off social media. Stop looking at other people's highlight reels of their lives and begin to create a highlight reel of your life. I recommend getting off video games. Stop losing yourself in a fantasy world of competitiveness and go out there and compete in the marketplace, in the real world. Guys, it's time to step up, get off the sidelines, and become the man that God has called you to be. Visit rebuiltrecovery.com forward slash vision, guys. We're going to send the training over to you guys right away. But if you got value out of this episode, guys, make sure to share, rate, review. We've seen tremendous growth over here in the first 10 episodes, guys, and it's all because of you. But your host here, Coach Frank at Rebuilt Recovery, we love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.